to had visitors in quite a while. What brings you here? And then he squints a bit, and he like sniffs the air, and he tilts his head, and he says, "Especially since one of you has a very interesting smell." And he sm has like this devious smile on his face. Oh, that's that's our family special. Yes, <laughs> I hope you like it. <laughs> Don't bring us into this cleric. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm. I'm going to use my divine sense to see if he might be something not quite a dragon. All right. Uh, blah 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 blah. So I still feel wounded. Um. No. You don't sense anything out of the ordinary. And like the area we're in doesn't feel like it's been desecrated or is unholy in any fashion. No, not at all. So, no. So for all intents and purposes, it seems like he legitimately is actually a dragon. Yep. Even if I might happen to smell nice, given the mosquitoes before. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna walk up and just like give him a bow. Um, I've come to well we've come to I, I suppose I haven't really spoken to anyone about this but <laughs> I just have... sort of dragged everyone out here to I'm go sort, meet the dragon I sort of drag my crew here so I I hope you don't mind this this short and sweet meeting I, I hope um mm -hmm. Imba I, I've come to ask you of a favour and I hope you're willing to keep an open mind when I ask you this. <clears throat> he he smiles and he says, my mind is always open. <laughs> of course. Of course. I should not even question otherwise. Now, my friends here know of this now, but they did not before. But there is a Pretty big looming threat. Not in these marshlands themselves, but fairly close. And it is of another dragon. He he sort of raises an eyebrow. <laughs> now I'm not sure if you've heard of this dragon, seen this dragon, or know its whereabouts. But it has but my entire tribe's village killed my entire family. It has brought destruction to the forests that it lay within. And it continues to wreak havoc on other tribes outside of mine own. He, he chuckles a bit. And he he says, Yes, I I could smell my father's presence on you, Ranger. Hmm. Well that I did not expect. Tell me why does your father do what he does? He, you know, he actually just laughs and he says, I don't see any reason why I would tell you anything about my father. Or anything that he may or may not be planning. Hmm. Interesting. So, then I would be stupid to basically ask for your help then, wouldn't I? <laughs> He... He looks you up and down, and... He says, well, you've survived one encounter with, with him, which is more than most people can... can say. You can ask questions. I might not answer them. 
Okay. Well, do you know where your father's whereabouts are? Yes. Deep in the Dreadwood. Where he's been residing ever since he sent me and my sister out. You mean the Dreadwood outside of where I... I'm assuming you know where my tribe once lived, right? Because those woods he told never me about used the to tribe, be the Dreadwoods. Yeah. Yes. Hmm. That self-same wood. Interesting. Where exactly did your father come from? He shakes his head and he says, I do not know. It's and not like he is a very talkative sort. No, he's certainly not. A dragon of few words, if I will. <laughs> Do you know of the curse that seems to follow in your father's wake? It's his presence extending over the land. I think it's just part of him, but he intends to spread it. How do you Which? feel about him spreading this? Well, I cannot disobey him, but I... Not agree? ...prefer to rule over a land that isn't dead. And what of your sister? What does she think? And where is your sister exactly? Oh, she's just happy as long as she's gets to fight something. Always trying to cause some problems. Um, last I saw her, she tried to take on a hag, and I think she lost horrifically. <laughs> so, if you don't agree with your father, then... Does that mean you might be willing to help us? <laughs> he... He ponders for a moment and he says, Well, what kind of help would you want? Well, to remove your father's presence from these lands. People are sick and dying and the lands are no longer fertile. I don't want that. He... You don't want that. <laughs> and you think yourself capable of even getting near him. If I thought myself was capable, I wouldn't be asking for your help. What makes you think that I'm able to deal with him? I mean, you've seen him. Yes, I have. He destroyed my whole village in one foul swoop. Not even the spirit of the forest could deal with him. But I feel if we were to band together, then we could probably accomplish something of some good. And if your sister mm -hmm. is so willing to fight something, then maybe she could help also. He... He sits there and he just doesn't say anything for several minutes. Like, you can see him very much thinking and weighing his options. And he stares every one of you, like, up and down. He's... It almost feels like he can sort of see inside of you. It's very uncomfortable, honestly. The way he looks at you just doesn't make you feel safe. Let's put it like that. Something um, <laughs> And eventually he he says speak to my sister. 
if she is willing to aid you, then so will I. Okay. All I can say is if you'd like to rule over lands that, you know, are living with Fertile and, you know, by the looks of things with these wonderful lizard folk that you do seem to enjoy and protect, you seem to be at odds with your father then. And I feel your father's probably not going to stop, like you said, until everything is dead. That's probably he, something you might need to consider. He he smiles and he says, yes, but I also very much enjoy being alive in general. Mm -hmm. And going all. against my father is a very surefire way to die. Which is why I'm telling you, if you manage to get my sister on your side, we might stand a chance. And I'll... I'll consider helping you. Okay. Would you be interested in persuading your sister? <laughs> oh no, <laughs> no. I am not going to leave this place. I was sent here by our father, and as long as nothing changes, I will carry out his orders. Well, it's a good place this is. It'll be a shame when it'll be gone. It and would be a shame. It's only a matter of time, and uh, yes, you know that every, everything dies in his presence. What makes you think that you're gonna be safe? <laughs> I'm not entirely sure I will be safe, but I know that I'll be alive as long as I'm of use to him. Like I said, I alone cannot do anything against him. Nevertheless, how are you? How are you currently of use to him? He shakes his head. Just he doesn't answer, he just shakes his head. You ask him where his sister is. Well, like I told you, last time I heard she was trying to fight a hag um, and she lost so knowing my sister she's gonna stay there until she manages to win <laughs> well she sounds like a good dragon to have on our side by the sounds of things she sounds like someone I would prefer to stay far away from but yes I agree she has her merits I suppose Look for Granny Nightshade. She could lead you to okay. my sister. I expect you manage to do that much on your own. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I feel there's probably not much more we can talk about here. But I certainly thank you for your audience, or giving us this audience in bar. And I hope we will be back soon. He... He smiles and he says, You know, I do... Do very much enjoy ha having visitors come along. Chatting is always nice. Safe travels and do be careful on the road home. Of course. And he sort of, you know, goes back to... Um, he he just sort of dives back and just dives underwater and is gone. And you're all alone. Hmm. Well... <laughs> he did not say no. <laughs> no, he did not say no, but... <laughs> he didn't try to eat you either. He didn't try to eat us, but at the same time... He knows a lot more than what he's telling, so... But nevertheless, oh. it seems we have an option. I would like to know what his continued use to his father is. Yes, I'm glad you asked. Because he did not want to answer. And... He may not have been able to answer. Hmm. 
Maybe his sister will tell. Yes, I guess in due time, we might get some more answers. But for now, all we know is his father is more than willing to destroy everything in his goddamn wake, as as you've heard. I wonder what it is that prevents him from striking against his father. Perhaps some sort of magical compulsion that could be broken? Perhaps. I'm not really familiar with any such things, so maybe we could ask someone else who's more inclined. <laughs> Go see the wizard! <laughs> I do have the gold now. <laughs> <laughs> Don't we all do? Well, yes, we all do. <laughs> well, I guess we... Where did he say his sister was? Uh, Granny Nightshade, from what I understood. Yes, Granny Nightshade. I have no idea, but I'm assuming someone back at the Lizard Folk Lair will know. Maybe even Osk. Seems the best approach. Not what I was hoping for, but, it, you know, it's something. At least we have some more tangible information on this curse, as well as some direction in terms of contending with it. Hmm. I was very surprised to hear that he was still in that forest. Last I seen him, he was not heading in that direction, or he did not go back in that direction. But I guess in some way that's where he appeared, so that's where he should reside. Assuming because that is where the curse is spreading from. Mm. Well, especially if it is tied to his presence, so to speak. Mm. I think I... if we can might even wonder if he showed up on this plane and it makes me wonder if that curse itself might even be seething through some sort of portal or something that brought him here in the first place. But why... Would he be affected, but not his offspring? That's a good question. One I cannot answer. <laughs> he might have gone mad after his offsprings were born. No, he was mad to begin with. No. Uh, <laughs> Believe me. No way! Can I have of the from those people trying to pe piece things together? Can I have some intelligence checks? Intelligence bell bell. Oh my god! Just because I have a yep. minus <laughs> one doesn't mean I have to roll bad all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Plus zero. <laughs> all right. Um. Boris, it might be because you are, you know, that as Janice was. is of a of a rather long-lived race, but Janice is obviously very absorbed in things right now, and his mind might not be exactly too thinking too straightforward. But dwarves have stories about fighting dragons about dragons in general like way back when you know when there were more dragons around dwarves always managed to have run-ins with them mostly because both sides really like you know treasures and gems and beautiful things um something about the age that the dragon you just talked to was doesn't add up because you know that dragons take a fairly long time to mature. And if what happened to Janice's and to Stolgik's tribe was like 
I don't know, 25, 30 years back. This dragon is older than 30 years. Definitely. So if it is his child, either the curse was, or the, the big dragon was around for longer, or something else is going on. Maybe he is not of his, uh, kin, not his kin. Yeah, maybe he's using the word father as a title or something. So, all this simply could just be information we're currently lacking. Given the maturity of the dragon and the offspring, how long has this curse been around that we know? 20, 25 years? Yep. It did then not it... take long for that his father to grow to a mature age, I can tell you that. How do you know this? Because between the time that we put the boy in to where we put him and finding out that the whole curse had spread and finding it to be a dragon in that burrow was a very short time. Also, Shadows, the dragon mm. you saw was definitely bigger than the one you just talked to. Yeah. Definitely. I'm not going to pretend to be an expert on dragons, but Ember certainly looked much older than 25 years. Which means he was born prior to your experience with this curse. As such, it seems that whatever this curse is that is afflicting his father, I don't think... It I don't think it likely that he was always mad, as you put it. If he was always mad, then why wasn't his offspring infected as well? Which makes me wonder whether or not it's actually his, his offspring. Or maybe these are just dragons starting to follow what seems to be an elder dragon. But... Doesn't sit right. Not at all. I think that something in... I, I, my suspicion is that something has afflicted the father. Most well, likely. The fact that he was a boy before he was a dragon, I would assume so. That doesn't make sense. How could... If he was a boy who transformed into a dragon, how... Could he have fathered an offspring that predates his <laughs> transformation? Could he not have been transformed into a young person to prevent this curse someone might have known from before? Sounds and similar. Trying to steal him inside his body to to stop it from spreading. Honestly, I could... I, don't, I have absolutely no idea. All I know is when I first met his father, he was a boy. We locked him away. He became a dragon. Now, like you're saying, this dragon here is much older than 25 years. All I can say is that means to me that this dragon here is not his breed. Or his, his son, as he says he is. Or perhaps the boy who became the dragon was already a dragon. As perhaps, Sam has said. I don't know. That's... Of all the things we've suggested at the moment, that certainly seems the most plausible to myself. Well... We'll just have to wait and see. I have no idea. 
Is there someone that we can consult with regards to um, transformation? Discerning the magical compulsion. Probably the wizard. There's a wizard here. There is a wizard back in Saltmarsh. <laughs> who? Yes. We haven't really been on good terms with so far. Are you on good you... terms with anyone around here? You haven't been <laughs> on good terms. Well, excuse me, actually, cleric, but looks to here climbed his tower. <laughs> I simply just pissed him off. <laughs> so it's not just me. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, Brother, you know how wizards react when someone tries to climb into their tower or what it means to them. Yep. You can that imagine your wife alive. <laughs> how your wife rea would react to that. <laughs> I've known a wizard my whole life. Why would he get mad at me? Well, you were still alive, yeah, aren't you? You didn't even get bloody hurt. That explains why you're still alive. <laughs> Fair enough, I guess. But I did die at a later time, didn't I? Now, I look, see you got better. All I can say is this wizard only pretty much cares about his experiments and gold to help his experiments. So if we have that, I'm sure he doesn't care about what we've done. Well, I suppose it depends how business orientated he is. Fortunately, magic is expensive, so it might work out. <laughs> <laughs> well, freaking wizards! <laughs> I suppose we need to decide what to do then. Either we go find his sister, try and get more information, or we go and see the wizard. Plus, we have a war well, to fight. Yeah, I was going to say, there's still a war. Um, I don't know. I mean, in fairness, most of the war is waiting. Uh, and then there's this brief moment of battle and some screaming, and then you're back to waiting. It's awfully strange. <laughs> Pretty accurate. Don't recommend it. Uh, regardless, uh, perhaps we should find out how... what the... the length of waiting to fighting and screaming will be. <laughs> suppose we should go to the Queen, then. <laughs> And from there, well, I suppose... I wonder if it's worth seeing the wizard prior to seeking out the sister. It could give us an advantage. He could wizard provide may... it. Sorry, yes? I, I was just going to say, he, was, he might provide us with some sort of aid. Hmm. He might also give us a few things to think about and when we go to question the sister. Also, uh, how do we know the sister isn't going to kill us? Like, didn't he say that she was fond of uh, Fighting the everything? actual <laughs> battle side of battle? <laughs> yes, but... Less fond of the waiting side of things, more of the fighting side of things. <laughs> I don't see what other option we have. Hmm. We should see the wizard first. Yep. We put it with this. Well, first, off to war. Alright. Alright. Um. We're gonna kill the wizard. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to see you try. <laughs> I would very much like to see you try. Can't even Depends climb his tower, let alone kill him. All I'm saying mm. is that guy has been living in town for like 30 years. In a tower. In a tower. Which is a lot of spells you can put in different places. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like a challenge. You can go and enjoy that challenge. I'm good. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that challenge. Yeah, no, I'm good, believe me. Everyone else is gonna be watching. I'm just I'm just wondering, is it possible for me to cast a spiritual weapon and use a tiny creature like a goblin to hold on to it while I lift him up with the hammer? <laughs> He's probably gonna get shot um, down just as sand, dude. <laughs> no, because it's not like a tangible thing that you grab. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. It's it not probably, really something you can hold on to. It will probably hurt on contact, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's, 
it's it's not made for for 